understand Burma, I needed to understand Buddhism. So I entered a Buddhist retreat where I took a course in meditation. It's rare for a Westerner to do so, and I was the only non-Burman there. The octagonal main building had eight meditation cells around its circumference. The guru or teacher, Uba Kin, on the right, welcomed me there with some of his disciples. And like the others, I took up residence there at the center in one of the simple cottages right on the premises. On the board there, in Burmese, with English translation for my benefit, is the schedule we follow daily for 10 days. Classes from 4.30 in the morning until 9 at night. Ten and a half hours of concentrated training in meditation techniques daily in periods of from one and a half to four and a half hours at a stretch. Entering my cell, I discovered it was small, dark, and quite bare except for a mat on the floor to sit on. <laughs> First, by concentrating complete attention on the spot beneath the nose where the breath can be felt coming and going. Then, when we could do so for hours at a time, we learned increasingly difficult techniques of concentration, all aimed toward purification through subjugation of every desire, until finally we could attain the trance state demonstrated there, body rigid, breathing barely susceptible, mind in oblivion, from which one emerges feeling indescribably serene, I was to discover. During rest periods between meditation sessions, I get acquainted with my Burmese fellow students in my class. And I found out that even Burmans who were used to sitting on the floor got stiff from the long periods in the meditation cells. We had only one meal a day, vegetarian, no meat at all, which we ate together at 10.30 in the morning. It was an occasion for relaxed, informal discussion with the guru. Miss Dix, did you enjoy this stay at the Buddhist Meditation Center? Yes, Jack, it was a wonderful experience. The last day of the course, former students and prominent Burmans from all over the country came to pay homage to the guru. Among them, the first president of Burma, Sao Shui Thaik, a Shan prince, the man in white with glasses seated at the guru's feet. The guru was telling them there about my having successfully completed the course, and later many of them came up to me rather shyly to murmur thadu, which means well done.